Hi guys, and welcome to today's video. So, I have ended up with a beetle. Basically, what happened was ages ago, when I first set up Minnie's natural uh, enclosure, a Morio worm escaped, and I thought, right, one day that's going to pupate. And I have heard that when you keep Morio worms together, they don't tend to pupate that often, but when they're separate, they do. I don't know if that's completely true. Also, in Minnie's tank, there is a heat mat, so the temperature increase will obviously speed up the whole process of turning into a beetle. And just today, I glanced over to Minnie's tank and there was a giant beetle walking up her background. Here he is, just here. And actually, because um, you'll probably be able to tell by the way they look, Mario worms are obviously related to mealworms. They're also sometimes known as superworms or king worms, things like that. And so the adult stage is actually just a larger version of the darkling beetle. And if you've seen any of my videos on mealworms, I have a whole playlist on live food. Um, you'll know that they mealworms turn into darkling beetles and these are definitely definitely bigger than the ones I get of mealworms obviously you would expect that um I don't really know what to do with him because obviously I don't have any other uh Mario worms you know pupating or even you know like in the adult stage at the moment I've called him Bertie uh Bertie the beetle so I don't really know do I keep him do I wait for more to pupate it could take a while I really don't know what to do. I've currently just popped in some lettuce and he got straight on that. I'll probably have to give him some more food. Literally, I was so unprepared for this that this is the old ant formicarium. And I just had it lying about and I was like, I'm going to have to pop him in there. When I do get a better container, I'll put him in something better. Um, he is quite big, I think, for a beetle. Let me see if I can get him out. Come on. Some people are asking, like, the size of him in comparison to coins. I did have a five pence here, but I know a lot of you might not have a five pence if you live in other countries. Um, so we'll just put a five pence next to him. You can see he's pretty hefty for a beetle. Um, so, yeah, I don't know what to do with him. Should I keep him? Should I breed him? Is he a he? I don't know. But at the moment, I have myself another weird little invert as a pet so i thought i'd just update you guys on this um also i will hopefully in the future be doing more videos on breeding uh feeder insects if you are interested i am attempting to breed wax moths again so that'll be something to look forward to but yes for now we have bertie the beetle so thanks for watching guys and goodbye <laughs> Doom 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 do